Hi, I'm Jordan Jackson with Security Central. In this video, we're going to talk about how to completely power down your alarm system. You should not normally ever need to do this. However, in the event of some catastrophic damage, such as a lightning strike or possibly water damage, or if you were having major construction going on and needed to completely kill the alarm system, this is what you would need to do. There are two steps to this process because there are two sources of power for the alarm system. The first is the primary electrical plug. The second is the backup battery. So what we're going to do is show you the process of how to disconnect both of those items and we're going to go in the reverse order to make it a little simpler. We're going to start by disconnecting the backup battery. To find that battery you have to first find the main alarm control panel. In a home, that's most often going to be located in your basement, near your mechanical area where your furnace and water heater might be located. In a business location, you might look in your electrical closet, uh, near your phone system equipment, or possibly in the back storage area. Once you locate the main alarm control panel, you'll notice it might have a key lock on the front, in which case sometimes the key will be located on top of the box, or the door might be held closed with one or two screws on the right side. Either remove those screws or turn the key lock and the front cover will swing open. Exposing the main motherboard of the system, some device wiring, and the backup battery sitting in the bo bottom of the box. You can remove the battery and hold it in your hand. You'll notice a red wire and a black wire attached to the top of the battery. You can disconnect either wire. It does not matter which one. And you disconnect it by simply giving it a little tug. The slip-on connector will pull right off of the tab. If it's stuck, you may have to give it a little wiggle as you pull, but notice I'm pulling along the surface of the battery, not pulling vertically away from the battery. Once you've disconnected the battery lead, set it back in the can. We will come back to it uh, to plug it back on, but for now we're done here. The second step is to now locate where the main electrical plug for the alarm system is. It may not be immediately near you. You might have to look above you, below you, behind you, or possibly even in a room adjacent to you. But what we're going to be looking for is the main plug-in transformer. Let me show you what it looks like. This is an example of the electrical transformer that provides the primary source of power for your alarm system. So this is what you're looking for. You're trying to locate a regular electrical outlet and you'll notice the transformer plugged into it. The transformer is typically tan in color and it's a cube about three inches by three inches by three inches. It just has two prongs that plug directly into the electrical outlet to provide that power to the alarm system. Once you locate it, you're going to want to unplug it. However, oftentimes it will be held in the outlet with the center screw of the cover plate to the outlet. So you may need a regular screwdriver. Simply remove the center screw and then pull the transformer out and let it hang by the wires that would be attached to it here. If you were unable to locate the electrical outlet with this transformer in it, it's okay. We can also disconnect the power from inside the control panel of the alarm. So let me show you how to do that. Since you were unable to locate the transformer and the electrical plug uh, that provides power to the alarm system, I'm going to show you now how we can disconnect it inside the alarm control box using a screwdriver to disconnect the wire that connects the transformer to the main board of the panel. Now before you worry about electrocuting yourself, let me reassure you, it's only 12 volts. So notice I can touch these terminals without feeling a thing. It cannot hurt you. Even if you see a slight spark as we disconnect the wire, again, it's a very low voltage spark, so it cannot cause you any harm. So if we were unable to locate the transformer, we need to disconnect the wire in the control panel here. In most cases, it's going to be the first terminal on the left side or the very first wire here. In some older panels, it may be the far right terminal on the right side, but in this case, it's going to be the number one terminal. I simply use the screwdriver to loosen the screw a little bit so I can pull the wire down from underneath the screw and disconnect it. Once I do that, 
the system will go completely dead. Notice the keypad will not have any display on it because I have disconnected the battery and I've disconnected the primary power source. Please bend the wire over away from the metal enclosure because even though it's only 12 volts, if that wire touches the metal box, it will cause a short which will blow a fuse in the transformer, just meaning that you'll have to replace the transformer. Again, no harm will be done though to you or your home. But with the battery disconnected and the wire disconnected, your system will now be completely dead and you can contact our office to schedule a service call for a technician to come out and make whatever repairs are necessary to get your system back up and running. So if you have any questions, please contact us 24 hours a day.